Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? This is going to be the first video on the channel that's actually made for a video, not a stream highlight. And today we're going to be checking out a weapon tier list that I made. This is my personal opinion, I've talked over with a couple other pros based on release 9.1, so this is actually for the newest update where the last raider got nerfed. And if you disagree at all, please just comment down below, tell me your thoughts. We're going to get right into it with our first weapon. There's no, so we're gonna have, how's it gonna work? There's gonna be S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and F tier. And each of the tiers have their own thing, so S tier is overpowered weapons. Currently I have no weapons in S tier, because there's no weapons that I think are overpowered. Last Raider was great in release 9, but in 9.1 they took the damage down by 12, so it's not as overpowered anymore. So let's get right into it. First weapon we have on the list is Last Raider. This is a really strong mid to long range weapon. Even close is really good. It's about 63 damage with 10 mag size. I would suggest these are the attachments I run. You always want to run Rapid Slicer. It's the best attachment in that category. The other two are kind of bad. In this one, you can run Quicksilver or Enrich Material. And in this one, you can run either of the stocks. Second weapon in A tier, we have the Fletchet Gun or Fuss Shotgun, whatever you want to call it. With this, you want to run Bundle Ejector. Mercury Infused, and Ergonomic Grip, because you don't really need stability. Next gun we have on the list is Brute. It's also an A tier. This is our, all the A tier weapons right now. So with this, you want to run Magnetized Batteries. Just gives you real speed. The other ones are kind of bad, because you just lose a lot. Barrel Coils. The other two are pointless, because they're just, you know, you get rounds, but you lose damage. You lose damage against stability. This one's just, you gain range. You, can, you don't even have to have it on. And then you run Sleek Stock, because it doesn't have any recoil. Alright. Next thing we're going to go ahead and go on to, let me find it. It's going to be the Manticore. So Manticore is our last A-tier weapon. All A-tier weapons are great weapons. These are like meta guns. You can run them in any situation. So with this we have Bundle Ejector. Missile Fletchets and spring stock. So this is going to be like your close range, like explosive weapon basically. It gets countered by someone that's flying in the air, but it's really good to countering boxers. Alright, that's it for the A tier. So just to recap, we had Lacerator, Fletcher Gun, Manticore, and Brute. That's all A tier weapons. Now if we move on to the B tier, we have the Kinetic Arbiter. So what I would suggest running on this is Aerodynamic. You can run any scope you want. One, I wouldn't suggest the 16 or 8, but I would suggest 1.5 or Aerodynamic. Ergonomic stock. You can also run lightweight, doesn't matter. Spring assisted bolt. This is definitely the best attachment for this. The other ones are just kind of alright. This one, uh, high caliber would be okay. But I like this because you get more shots off quicker. Extended container because you're not really going to be wanting to reload. You know, you get two extra bullets. So it's perfect. And that's it for Kinetic Arbor. Now, the next B tier weapon is the Karma. I mean, this is pretty obvious. This is definitely the best 800 weapon in the game, if not the only one that's viable. With this, Splinter is optional. This will make it explosion and basically guarantee you a hit. It does the same damage if you direct it somebody, but it's just good to guarantee. But you lose one mag size, so you have to reload a lot more. I would say improved 4x and ergonomic stock. And the next B tier weapon is the detonator. The reason why the detonator's B tier is not for PvP at all. This is just a strict PvE weapon. It is just the best PvE weapon. You can clear any crystal just instantly. I wouldn't really suggest running this. Personally, I don't, but I put it in B tier because I think it's a good weapon. Then you want to run Magnetic and Magazine, and then Rapid Launcher. The other two attachments for both are bad. You lose damage just for projectile speed. I mean, you gain damage on this one, but you don't want long fuse because most of the time you're going to be trying to shoot people in the air if you have to PvP, and you don't want that. So now we're going to move on to the C tier. Now B tier, let me just, let me just, uh, tell you what B tier means. B tier means an average weapon, a good weapon overall. A tier means great, meta. B tier means good, still good to use. C tier is still good, still viable, but I wouldn't say it's as good as the A tier or B tier. But you can still use it if you prefer it. D tier are weapons that are a little bit below average. If you really enjoy the weapon style and like 
the ways you can use it, then I would still use it. And then FTR's guns that I would highly suggest against using. Like, you shouldn't use it. So in C tier, the first weapon we have is PDW. Now, I thought about this a lot. A lot of people think PDW is the best SMG. I still think the Fletcher's the best. But PDW is pretty close second. Now, I know it's tier two tiers below, because I feel like the Fletcher gun's just a little bit better. I could put this in B tier, but I decided to go with C. So with this, you can run... I would suggest Xenotoxin, because it's going to be... You're mainly going to use it for killing mobs. I'm actually going to put that on. Light stock, because why not? And then extended barrel. You can run high caliber, but I feel like you just want the fire rate. I think you just want it. Right? And then the next C tier weapon is the Phasic Lancer. Now this is actually... This might be better. I haven't got a really good chance to test it out. Might be better than C. Might be a B tier. It's basically just the Lacerator with higher damage so you want to run a single shot chamber right you don't want the burst version and then high efficiency battery that's what you want to run on this it's basically just imagine like a higher damage lacerator that's a really good weapon i would i could suggest using the phasic lancer next c tier weapon is the basilisk so i wouldn't really suggest using this but it's still a good weapon it's a good hit scan i would still suggest over like using the lacerator or the phasic over this but it's still good you want to use heavy frame for the fire rate and you want to use ergonomic just for the time to equip you always want time to equip over anything else and heavy battery just because you want to be able to shoot more next ct weapon we have is the bolty or the bolt action this has actually been getting a lot better i've seen a lot more people use it and you definitely can use it holographic sight is what i use you can put a 1 x 1.5 or a 4 whatever you want and then hollow point rounds is definitely the best. You gain a ton of damage just for a little bit of loss of um, projectile speed rounds and magazine. And then rapid cartridge. Rapid cartridge. God, I can't speak. Just for more rounds. So you don't even actually lose that many rounds. So now that's it for the C tier. Now these are the D tier. These are still optional weapons, but I would highly suggest not using them. I would say just try and find a different weapon that fits the style. I'll try and, like, if you like a weapon, then I'll just... I'll suggest you a different weapon to use. So we have starting off as the shatter gun. You got a huge nerf. It's basically just I could probably put it even lower. But if you do want to run it, you can use reactive lever and quicksilver. Discover the world with but the if you want to use the shatter gun, then just expedition. just use the manticore with bundle ejector missile. And Next D tier weapon we have. I'm gonna try and speed run this because it's just continents. we have the core. I don't really know a lot of the core. It's just a bad weapon. I wouldn't use the core at all. I, if you want to use the core, just use the brute. Use the brute, use the lacerator, maybe use the advocate or something. Next we have his comrade. The comrade's alright. I would suggest using TNT rockets. TNT rockets, lightweight stock, and boosted chamber. All right, and the next D tier weapon we have is the KBR long shot. Now this might be decent if they buff it just a little bit more. That's what I currently run on it. I don't really know how to use it. I wouldn't suggest using this at all. All the other snipers do more. The next D tier weapon is the Advocate. I wouldn't suggest this at all. It's just a worse version of the Brute. It's a worse version of the Last Raider of the Phasic. It's just the worst. Don't use it. <laughs> the next is the ICA Guarantee. Now this is actually a pretty decent weapon. And the only reason it's decent is it's got chain reaction, and that means you can, it's like lightning that goes between the different mobs. So you can just shoot a ton, and it's really good clear. Really good clear, but it still gets out cleared by the detonator, so I wouldn't suggest it. The next D tier weapon, or no, that's it, that's it for D tier, sorry. Now we're on to F tier. Don't use these weapons, just don't, but I'm going to mention them. First off, we have the Kara. It's bad because it's just the worst version of the detonator. Second off, we have the Scrapper. It's by far the worst SMG. Third off, we have the Zeus Beam. It's just bad. Don't use it. It's too much for so little. We have the Mailstorm next. It's also bad. If they buff it again, or if they buff it some more, then it might be decent. But it's still trash. And last, we have the Haze. The Haze is pretty fun. I suggest if with Snare looking to have fun with it but it's not good at all just if you want to use it just use like quick suit or something go up to them and snare them and then just 
blast them. And then last, and definitely not least, the Gorgon. This weapon is so bad I actually gave it its own category. F times infinity. Because it is, you couldn't use a worse weapon. But if you're looking to challenge yourself, go ahead and use it. And that's it for the primary weapons. Now, I know some of you are probably curious about pistols. Pistols kind of have play styles. They're play style based, so they're not really... Like, no one's better than the other. So, I would suggest using hammer. Hollow point is by far the best. The other ones are kind of stinky. Stinky doo-doo. Internal dampener is what I like to run, but you can run double action as well. And then improved hollow dodge, just because... It's just better than like the default and then that's the best pistol second best pistol i say is the k2a it's full auto and hollow point hollow point for the damage full auto for the just increased rounds per minute third would be the scarab now a lot of people for like a little like one week were using this thing with chain reaction and phase repeater just to get a bunch of mob clear but if you count the actual damage and the mob clear it's not that much at all you get the same amount for a hammer or anything. And then finally the Bulldog. It's pretty fun if you want to use the Bulldog. But it's definitely the worst pistol. And that's it everybody. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions for videos. Or if you want to argue and tell me that I'm stupid and wrong about the gun tier list. Go ahead. But you're probably more wrong than I am. Have a good day.